Hey everyone, this is Mayur. Welcome back to MLWorks. In this video, we'll understand how to integrate MCP server with OLAM using OTERM. So in this video, right, specifically we'll be using uh, Git MCP server, which means we'll be interacting with Git repo and uh, use LLM to understand the Git repo and get uh, some details from the Git repository. Okay. So for this, we'll need a bunch of tools. For instance, you'll need the, first of all, you'll need get MCP server and then you'll need Olama and then that you will need Oterm. Okay. So to install git mcp server, you can either do pip install mcp server git or you can directly download an image of mcp git and run it as a, a docker container. Okay. So that is the first step. So this is quite straightforward when it comes to installation for mcp git server. Okay. I'll show the docker image part later right in the video. I'll show that. And when it comes to OTERM, OTERM is nothing but it is a text terminal, okay, where you can interact with the OLAMA models, okay, and it is quite simple to what integrate as well. Because what will happen, right? Once you install OTERM, okay, and you have OLAMA running simultaneously, so OTERM will be able to get all the models that are running in OLAMA on its terminal, text terminal. I'll show that as well in the coming video, right, in this video. So next what we do is once we have the git mcp server and o term what we have to do is we have to modify the configuration okay of o term such that you can interact uh, the mcp server with the olama so we'll see that and next is uh, olama installation i will recommend watching you watching the previous video okay where i build something similar kind of a chat gpt kind of an interface with olama and open web ui Okay, you can watch that video or you can just run this command for now, right? To understand how to run Olama in your system. So I'll also talk about the issue which I faced while integrating Git server, uh, not Git server, yeah, Git MCP server. Okay, so get started, let's get started. So these two steps are pretty simple, pip install Git server and pip install OTEM. So once these things are done, okay, let me just uh, go to the terminal, uh, I'll go here. So I am running, you can directly either do O term, otherwise you can do, this is some another way of running uh, O term, okay, using textual uh, library, okay. So this will run the O term. Here, what will happen, right? You will get this interface on the terminal, okay, which represents it is integrated with Olama. So right now, Olama contains all these models and this is the, uh, tools, git tools, mcp, from the mcp. So, uh, what you will see, right, before you interact or even uh, get these tools here, you have to modify something called as, as I said, you have to modify the otem config.json. So, let me go there first, uh, if it is possible, okay, so here, local share and otem okay and here if i go you will see config.json so here you will see there is something called as mcp server and for git and then you will have command docker and here you will show you want to run a command like uh, run and you want to bind okay mount and you will see here specifically okay so I want my source repository is this one. Okay. And I want to bind it to a, a location called slash explore libraries inside this specific Docker image. So here MCP slash git is the image. Okay. So what we'll do from my local system, there is this specific repository. Okay. I will bind that repository to this specific Docker container uh, under this specific folder. Okay, we'll see that as well. Okay, so this is the configuration change that you have to do this part, right? MCP server until here. This is your configuration. Let me go to this one also, right? Here, if you see uh, under O term, this is how they have mentioned how you want to uh, give your MCP server for Git. Okay, there will be hundreds of MCP servers that are available right now. Okay, just to give you a context here, this is the server. So there are different so many servers are there which you can integrate with your O term and interact with those tools. For instance, if you have Google Drive, okay, you can use this specific server 
uh, modify the config.json here and then you can interact with the Google Drive also. So that is possible. So for now, we'll be just doing it for the MCP get. Okay, we have modified our uh, MCP server config.json here and we added our MCP and we have ma mapped our uh, git repo from source to destination inside the git repository, not git repository, inside the docker container. So let me show that as well, right? So this is my, uh, what do you call it, the docker image. Okay, if I just quit, so I'll just to come back to the home, clear this, then let me increase the terminal size as well. Okay, so docker ps okay you will see i have this one running now mcp server git is running and i want to get inside this docker image exit it and then i will give something called as uh, the specific uh, container id and then i'll give slash bin slash bash the shell command so here if you see uh, if I just want to go back here, okay, let me go back here as well once again. So, um, local share and then O term, okay, nano, we'll see here config.json. So, I'm mentioning from the root directory, just explore libraries, okay. So, if I go here, I am, it is under, by default, it is uh, showing us the working directory as app. What we'll go do, right? We'll just go a step below and here we'll see. So this is where explore libraries is uh, mapped or mounted. Okay. From your local machine to the Docker container. Now let it be there. Okay. So here, uh, if you see here, right? So this is also done. Now what we want to do, right? If you go here now, so uh, let me, this will, what it, this will step will do, right? This step will also download MCP git. Okay. This, it will look for this specific uh, Docker image in your local machine. If it is not there, then it will download it. Okay. That's why we are able to see this Docker image here in the first place. Okay. So that is there. And then we go see, and we are able to see our, uh, local repo in, mounted to the, uh, Docker container. Okay, so now what we can do, right? Uh, I will also show Olama here once. So if you see here, Olama by default will be running on localhost. This is the uh, localhost 11434. So it is saying that Olama is up and running. And this is the open web UI, which I told, right, in one of the documentation that building chat GPT using Olama and web UI. So this is Olama integrated with web UI, and we are seeing all the same models, same set of models. Okay, which is also present here in this one. Gemma 3, Lava, Deep Sea Carbon. Okay, so you will see the same thing, Lava and Gemma 3 and all these three models, right? It is available here. So, now what we have to do, right? So we have our O term and its corresponding configuration is modified such that this specific tool is integrated with it. So here I'll take the specific LLM and I'll take the specific tool inside the git which is git log git commit and uh, git status okay some of these tools i'll take and i'll save it now since uh, my particular uh, git repo from local is integrated with the mcp inside the docker container now this model will be able to interact with that with that specific mcp server which is running inside the docker container and which also has my specific uh, repo so i'll show uh, i'll type in something like uh, show me uh, previous uh, commit history at uh, explore libraries okay so what this will do right it will understand certain parts of the specific library okay so this is just talking about the git uh, previous uh, commit history when it was done okay if you want to go and check it so i have opened my uh, repository here and there will be this commit history 72 commits so you will see uh, my previous commit which is ob182 ob182 7f and 7f this is the commit history it picked this information okay and showed it here and let's talk about something also else right something else like 
show me git logs for explore libraries so let us see what it brings so by default, when you give git logs, what will happen, right? It will look at the previous, uh, all the history of information that is present inside this git repository. So uh, it is talking about uh, logs of commits made to the git repository. Okay, so if you go and see my uh, repository here, right? You will see what I talk about mostly. Okay, it is about text blob space, NLTK, LLMs, Dask, CUDA DF. Okay, and you will say these kind of things here, NLTK, SPAC, okay, all these are the same set of uh, readme documentation, right? It is it is able to show those information. And it contains 40 commits, which most of them are related to updates and addition to readme, commit frequency. So it is able to bring all the information, okay, when you pass it, when you give just this query, right? It is able to get all this information and uh, show it to us, okay? It is able to show what, including the Dask, Hello Brick, the kind of, uh, code that is present inside the repository. It is able to get all those information. Okay, so this is one thing, but uh, this is not, it is not as simple as it looks like because, uh, let me go here one second. If you see here, uh, I am trying to what, uh, integrate or trying to mount my repository from uh, this local to the container. By default, right, there are some security checks that happen in Git okay which will not allow you to what uh, interact or run these commands right in the llm it won't allow you to run these commands so for that right let me talk about the specific issue let me cop open link or just let me open this copy and open it here okay so here you will see the o term fails to interact with git repo through mcp git so what happens, right? When you are trying to run these commands, okay, git logs at explore library, you might have, sometimes you will end up with this kind of error. The error calling git log tool, okay. Because what happens, right? The git is not able to uh, what, uh, access the git repository because of the security information that is required, okay. So to avoid that, for instance, especially, right, if you show, if I want to just show you the error here, you will see an error like this, okay dubious uh, ownership in the repository at you will see this kind of error in your docker container after you have mounted the git repository from your local to for docker container so for that to avoid that what you have to do is you have to run this command okay so this will this command will try to what resolve this issue of the ownership but this command should be run inside your docker container so what we have to do is we have to go to the specific uh, docker image okay let me go to the docker image itself so i'll go here mcp get docker file okay so what this will do right from uh, i'll take the latest mcp get docker image inside that i'll run this command okay and i'll exit and i'll here again then what i'll do right uh, docker build okay so i'll use this command where I will tag my latest, uh, what this, whatever the Docker image that I want to generate, I want to call that as my latest uh, MCP git. Okay. And I want to pick the Docker file, the one which I modified here. Okay. And I want to run it. So what will happen, right? When you do this, it will run this specific command also, which is throwing the error. Okay. It will resolve this error once you pass this specific command inside the Docker file. And then you will be able to resolve this issue of uh, interacting with the uh, Git repository through Olama. Okay, this is one of the issues that can come up when you are working with uh, this specific uh, Git repository, right, through MCP server. So uh, I hope, right, you are able to understand what I have uh, done in this specific video. Okay, so first, just to uh, give you a brief again. Okay, so we have something called as Olama, which contains the language models. Then you have Oterm, which is the text terminal for interacting with the Olama. Then you have something called as MCP server, which is in this case, it is Git server. Okay, so what you do is you integrate your Git server through Oterm 
to your o lama okay now once that is done the o lama can interact with your uh, git repository through the mcp server and o term okay so that's what we have done in this specific video if you have any questions drop a message or comment in the video thanks for watching